What's up, fight fans? YouTube. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And I want to talk about Terrence Crawford and Jeff Horn. This is the official recap. The fight was everything that I thought it would be. Terrence Crawford. He let... He let his hands do the talking. I mean, what else can you say? The guy showed that there's a reason why he was the undisputed light welterweight champion. You know, uh, Jeff Horn showed grit. I mean, he was game. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he was, he was a game guy. Um, I think he was just outclassed. And it's crazy how, you know, it makes me feel like an, uh, a scene from Rocky where Mitch says, pain. That's exactly what that was. Pain. You know, it was one of them situations where Jeff Horn, it was nothing that he could possibly do skill-wise or will-wise to beat Terrence Crawford. And I think they kind of dug a hole for themselves anyway. It's because Terrence Crawford fought him like he was pissed off at him. It reminds me basically of uh, Sugar Shane Mosey when he fought a guy named Shannon Taylor. I don't know if you guys remember. This was back in 01. Uh, Shannon Taylor called out Sugar Shane Mosley. And Sugar Shane Mosley being the champ that he was, you know, that superior uh, boxer puncher at the time, uh, called him out, you know, and, you know, and took him on and just beat the brakes off of him. You know, and it, it, it's one of them things, man, where that's the difference between game good fighters and great fighters. This is the difference. You've seen that as an evidence. Because, look, Terrence Crawford is the kind of guy that has so many dimensions. And I keep telling you guys, I've already done a video about this. Terrence Crawford will be that guy that's going after what he... He wants to duplicate what he did at 140. You know, he wants to do that. He wants to be that guy that unifies all the belts at 147. So Keith Thurman, keep bullshit. Um, whoever wins between Sean Porter and Danny Garcia, keep bullshit. Because it's going to be a time where you can't keep bullshit. You can make up all kinds of excuses. You can cherry pick, you can duck, you can run. But you're not going to be able to do that for long. And honestly, I believe Danny Garcia lost that O from Terrence Crawford years ago when he knew that Terrence Crawford was coming from 135 to 140. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford was a beast. Danny Garcia, if Danny Garcia didn't acknowledge it, Danny Garcia's daddy definitely acknowledged it. All Danny Garcia's dad could actually do and say about Terrence Crawford was talk shit and call him derogatory names, like, oh, he's blue black and all this. But you didn't have an interest of fighting Terrence Crawford when your fighter, your boy, was at 140. A reckoning has came to the welterweight division. It's a reckoning. Terrence Crawford is the reckoning. I'm telling you, this guy is the second coming. He's like... Terrence Crawford is like Mayweather... Let me rephrase. Terrence Crawford is like Pretty Boy Mayweather that grew up into a badder ass Pretty Boy Mayweather. Not the money bullshit. You know, this is not that. You know, because uh, Mayweather actually coco cocooned into something else. But the... Pretty boy was a beast. Terrence Crawford is the representation of that pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. In retrospect, in grit, skill, all around, all the above, but just grew up. Now he's 30. Now he's taking charge. Now he's taking action. That's Terrence Crawford. He will be the undisputed welterweight champion of the world, and he will replace Floyd Mayweather, his greatest of all times. Watch what I tell you. And if he doesn't do it, he will legitimately lost. And I don't think that 
the cocoon money Mayweather didn't do that. He never done that. He just was all about the money. He took fortune over fame. He took fortune over legacy. He took fortune over everything. He took fortune over dignity. You know, but Terrence Crawford will be that guy that has the skill, right age, right time to move to welterweight. He's 30 years old, okay? That's a perfect time. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talks about Canelo, oh, wait for him to come into his uh, peak time. No, Terrence's peak time is right now. So it's time. You know, I would love to see what he's going to do with bigger bangers, better fighters, of course. Of course, this is a first run, okay? You got to be realistic, but at the same time, I'm realistic, but I'm also optimistic because I know Terrence Crawford. I know what he can do. And people say he can't punch. Ask Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn's a tough bastard. Don't get me wrong. He's an Aussie. He's a tough Aussie. He took a lot of punishment in there. And, you know, and it had to be stopped because it was just it was just a thing to do. Jeff Horn was not going to win. He was getting hit way too much with right hooks. Okay. Because when Terrence Crawford went into that southpaw stance, that was supposedly when Jeff Horn was supposed to, you know, picked up the pace. But he couldn't because by that time when Terrence Crawford went into southpaw, he'd already taken too much damage when uh, Terrence Crawford was orthodox. You know what I mean? So and then when he got southpaw, he started wailing on him and landing hard right hooks. And Jeff Horn is what my uncle calls a brave dummy, okay? He goes and takes and walks through a lot of shots. And, you know, and it, 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 it's a good move to a, to a certain extent. But if you keep taking just senseless punches, you know, I guess to show the other guy that you can, that you can take those punches, you know, and, that, and for that reason, you will, you will discourage the guy that's punching, you know, and if he's not Stanima, blessed. And um, if he's, you know, if he doesn't have the stamina, he's gonna lose confidence. When he loses confidence, he's, you know, it's gonna start mentally messing with him. But that didn't, that didn't affect Terrence Crawford at all. Terrence Crawford is that guy that stays in shape. He has an eight pack for Christ's sake. He's not gonna get tired of welling and landing on Jeff Horn, regardless of what Jeff Horn was doing. And he was walking through shots. You gotta give a credit to Jeff Horn because Jeff Horn is his first official professional fight or professional loss, right? So you have to give him credit for taking that ass whooping like that. But the punches that Terrence Crawford landed on Jeff Horn, this answers a lot of questions, okay? This answers, first of all, does Terrence Crawford belong up there? We clearly see that Jeff Horn is bigger than Terrence Crawford, okay? But what also we see is that Terrence Crawford's punching power kept Jeff Horn honest by the accumulation of those punches. And those are really the worst ones. Those are the ones that put you in the hospital and, 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 and you know, and slip you into a coma. So I'm glad that it was stopped. Um, what else about this fight? Well, this also tells you why Manny Pacquiao wanted $20 million to fight him. You know what I'm saying? This is the same reason. And that was at 140, though. Or 147. It doesn't matter where it was. You know, because Terrence Crawford was fresher, young enough to fight. Manny Pacquiao, I felt, should have passed a torch to Terrence Crawford. You know, and the irony ate up that situation because Manny Pacquiao was cherry picking Jeff Horn, picking this guy out of Australia that no one ever heard of, literally. All the boxing analysts, all the boxing channels, pages, no one really knew who he was. And, you know, and they sent poor Manny over there to fight a guy that Nobody knew who he was, and he was game. He rose to the occasion, and he, he attempted to do that now. He just didn't lay down, guys. So I don't want you guys thinking that, you know, he just laid down. 
but he did take an ass whooping due to the experience and the person that was in there, a great fighter. This is what this is, and people need to acknowledge that. People look at Errol Spence. Errol Spence, let's see what he does with a compo, okay? Because we have to compare him to everybody because Terrence Crawford is here in the welterweight division right now. So, yes, we're comparing to all these fighters, okay? So, uh, aged Manny Pacquiao could not stop Jeff Horn. Yeah, he gave him a hell of a Filipino assault in the 10th round of their bout. And I feel he should have won, but he didn't win. Unfortunately, this is boxing, the sport I love that I hate so much. So, nonetheless, Terrence Crawford got the stoppage. So, that shows you something right there, you know. Again, I don't believe in triangle theories, you know what I mean? But I will say this, that's the same reason that Manny Pacquiao didn't want to get in there with Terrence Crawford, okay? Terrence Crawford is the real deal. He stopped him in nine. He showed that he can bang with not one of the best, but a game welterweight opponent. And he's taken that first step in the welterweight division. Now he's the WBO champion. But anyway, that's me wrapping it up. I'm signing off. Please subscribe. And you guys tell me what you think.